So, uh, what is the success rate of IVF with donor eggs? Is it true that uh, the success rate of IVF with donor egg is more than patients going and un undergoing IVF with their own eggs? No, I mean if you match donors with recipients age to age, the results are the same. But because we're we're doing oocyte donation in those who have usually advanced maternal age, so therefore naturally the the pregnancy rates with an oocyte donor will be more because you're selecting a donor who is between the age of 23 to 35 years. Uh, typically, at this age with proven fertility, your pregnancy rates should be around 60 to 70 percent with a single blastocyst transfer. That is what usually most of the ART clinics aim at. So we have heard this term called IVF with frozen eggs and IVF with fresh eggs. So can you please explain what is the difference between frozen eggs and fresh eggs for an IVF donor egg program? So frozen eggs is when um, suppose a donor has approached an ART bank, the ART bank has screened, registered the donor, stimulated the donor, retrieved eggs or oocytes from the donor and cryopreserved those eggs for later use. So, so when a recipient couple approaches in the future, if the, if the parameters or the variables match, then they will release the, the cryopreserved or the frozen oocytes which have already been stored by the bank. Now in cases of cryopreserved oocytes or frozen oocytes or frozen eggs, uh, the retrieval rates are slightly reduced and therefore the actual pregnancy rates per oocyte in a frozen cycle will be less as compared to a fresh cycle. We also don't know what the long-term effects are of cryopreservation. We don't have that data uh, with us right now. So, if possible, uh, it would be probably better to use fresh oocytes and and then do an embryo transfer cycle. So, what is the difference between IVF donor program with uh, fresh embryo transfer and frozen embryo transfer? Can you please explain? As far as donor cycles are concerned, the success rates are the same. We basically have to think about where the embryo is going to be transferred. So the embryo is going to be transferred in the recipient and the recipient has not been stimulated. So the recipient has not been given injections for ovarian stimulation. So basically whether you transfer a fresh embryo or a frozen embryo will not have any impact whatsoever on the success rates. It's going to be the same. So um, what is embryo donation? Can you explain? Is embryo donation legally possible in India? So embryo donation is legally possible. Embryo donation is when the embryo has been donated, means the sperm has also been taken from a sperm donor and the egg has also been taken from an oocyte donor. So when you take both eggs and sperms from a donor, make an embryo and then use that embryo for a recipient couple, that is known as an embryo donation cycle. So for example, if a cup, there's a couple wherein the husband has uh, azoospermia, there are no sperms and basically there, there are no chances that sperms can be retrieved even with medications or with surgical sperm retrieval techniques like TSA or microtessy. So there's no chance of getting sperms from the male partner. As far as the female is concerned, suppose she has advanced maternal age because of which she doesn't have, uh, she has a diminished ovarian reserve and, and very low MH levels. So in that case, there are absolutely no chances that you know, you can get an egg or a sperm from this intending couple. But the uterus is absolutely normal. So if they wish to have a child, then the only options left for that couple would be either to opt for adoption or to opt for an embryo donation program. So yes, embryo donation is legal and is indicated in certain cases.